So you can't get a vinyl plank flooring installer to show up for the life of you. In this video, I'm gonna give you a quick overview on how to install vinyl plank flooring, just the quick basics, so you could get down and dirty and make this happen yourself. So we're in a hallway right now. We have a cut piece, watch this, watch this. Look at it, just snap it in, drop it down. That's all there is to it. Now look at this. I got this little tap block right here. I'm gonna lock that on, and then I'm just gonna tap it with a hammer, and look, the plank's gonna drop right down. Now, we're gonna go ahead and grab our next plank here. Let me get you a good view of this. Now, if you don't know what a tapping block is, it's just a scrap piece of vinyl plank flooring that you're going to go ahead and lock onto the end there and then tap it down so it locks into place. You don't need to buy any fancy tools. You're going to need a knife, a hammer, a pair of tin snips usually helps on those tricky cuts, and that's it. So you see how I locked it in on the side right there? Now I'm locking it in on the front. Now we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a tapping block there. We're going to lock it in the place. All right, that's good. Now we're going to go ahead and take our hammer. Look how dangerous I'm swinging that thing right there. Man, I just basically chalked up the game of life on that one. Anyway, lock it on in this end. I'm going to go ahead and tap that down. And then the planks are just going to drop right down for you when they're officially locked in place. Now, if you're having any issues getting it snap in place, just kind of slowly lift it up and down. Sometimes it just gets caught the slightest bit. And you got to give it that little bit of finesse to make things happen. But literally... It's that easy. Now, granted, we've been doing this a while and it looks super easy when we do it. A little bit of finesse on the front end will go a long way. It lets you know when it's locked into place too. So if something doesn't seem right, it might not be right. Just go ahead and finesse it a little bit, wiggle it up and down, tap it with the tap lock a few times and get it locked in. Let's get you a couple more angles here so you know what's good. So we got this cut piece right here going onto this little funky shelf closet thingy right here. Flip the plank the opposite way that it would lock in from. Take your knife. Now check this out here. Any minute. Now I don't know what I'm up to. I must be changing the blade. You got to have a fresh blade. So that's probably what I'm just milking away right here. Oh, whew, man, that took forever. All right, let's go ahead and trace where it would get cut off at when it gets flipped over. So we're just tracing the existing plank. Now I'm going to snap it right in half. Now watch this part here. Get all that little debris and crumbs out of the way. You don't want that under your planks. We're going to lock it in on the side. Once we drop it down, we're going to lift up. We're going to slide it forward into there. Then we're going to go ahead and get a tap lock and just tap it down to make sure it's locked in nice and tight. Check this out. Check this out. Take that. Get the hammer. Less risky hammer in this case. Tap it in. Boom. Done. Really all there is to it. So another quick trick you could do is before you get panning out and doing all this stuff, you can kind of put the puzzle piece together on your floor first, just out in the wide open, then slide it into place, like three or four rows, then slide it where you want it to go, then start building it off of it from there. That way everything's secured and ready to rock. Now, if you have any other questions about vinyl plank flooring, I'm going to be dropping videos like crazy on this subject, but these are just some quick little overview on this so you can go ahead and get started, make things happen yourself because it is a phenomenal DIY product. So as always, I truly appreciate you tuning into this. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.